Hello everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Sumit Goyal and I am a quick view subject matter expert. First of all, I would like to welcome all of you to VIFP Self Learning Video Broadcast. Today I am going to talk about that how to connect Azure database with the click view. So I would, my requirement is or my business requirement is that my I am maintaining a SQL database on Windows Azure. Now I would like to create reporting or do the analysis based on that database with, with the help of ClickView. So I would like to create a connection between a Azure and a ClickView so that I can extract my data from Azure into ClickView and then I can do my reportings or analysis in ClickView. So first of all for this, first of all we need to create a login on Azure and to create a database on Azure. So let's see how to do this. I have already done this. So as you can see here, this is my Azure login, Windows Azure login, and here I have created a sales database. This is my sales database, and inside this sales database, as you can see here, in this sales database there is a table sales with three columns: sales ID, city, and sales. And this is a data or the records which are stored into that table on in sales in sales table. Now I would like to connect ClickView with Azure and I would like to extract this data into ClickView and then I will be going to create charts or table box based on this database. So let's see how to do this. So first of all we would like to I would like to know the SQL server name. So for this I will click on Azure over here and I will click on S sales database on my database and if you scroll down you can see here we have a server name. I will copy this server name from here because I will I will be going to use this server name in my ClickView while connection. So I will copy this. Open ClickView. Click on edit. Create a new ClickView document. Go to edit a script. Here, what you have to do is you have to choose OLEDB as a database connector. Click on connect. From here, I will be going to select Microsoft OLEDB provided for SQL Server because I am going to connect SQL Server database. Click on next. Here, the server name. So I would, I would be going to paste the server name over here. This is my server name. Now that server name or the server which we have created on Windows Azure it has a login ID and password so I will be I would be going to enter the same login ID password over here so my username is BIFP password is so I would going to enter my password over here allow saving password now click on test connection so if there will be a successful connection it will show a message that the test connection succeeded click on OK now select the database on the server and from here I I will be going to select my database that is sales database. So I select my sales database over here and click on OK. So once it is done, it will create a connection string over here. As you can see here, the database connection string is over here now, OLEDB <coughs> with the required information. Now I would like to select the database like as you can see here in this database, I have a table, sales table sales data, I would like to extract the value or the, all the information from all the data from the sales. So I click on select and from here, I would be going to select database table, my sales table and click on OK, click on save and reload. Once it is done, it will show that how many records are fetched. So I click on close and OK. Now I would like to show list box over here. So on the blank area of the sheet anywhere, right click, new sheet object, click on list box. From this list box, I select city, OK. So it will create a list box containing cities. I would like to create one more list box over here, which contains sales ID if you want or if you want sales you can show sales also you can see your sales also if you want if you would like to show the sales this is as per your requirement as per the need 
Now next is I would like to create a chart. So my requirement is I would like to show the sum of sales according to the city. So I right click new sheet object chart over here. From here I select bar chart. Next my dimension will be city because I would like to sh show the sum of sales according to city. <coughs> Click on next. Here, the sum of sales, paste and OK. And I'll show here. I provide, give a label over. A, give a label over here. Total sale. And click on finish. So as you can see here, the chart is created. So we have major four cities over here: Alberta, British Columbia, Manitoba, and Nunavut. And you can see here. So like this, we can extract the data from Windows Azure into ClickView. We can make a connectivity between Windows Azure and ClickView and we can extract the data from Windows Azure and generate reports or dashboard into ClickView. That's all in my video. I hope this video will help you understand how to create a connectivity between Azure and ClickView. I will come up with some new videos with some new topics. Till then, goodbye. If you like if you have any questions, you can visit our website www.bicsolutions or bicstraining.com or you can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos. Have a nice day ahead. Goodbye.